Welcome to Business and More TV. I'm Tara Sweeter, and I have Mickey Fulp with me today, just joining us briefly as he is on a road trip. Mickey, thank you so much for joining us. Where are you headed? Well, I'm in Seattle right now, and we're headed down the coast. We'll make it all the way to, to San Diego and then cut across the western U.S. to Albuquerque. Giant road trip, got a couple of weeks, going to see the sights. Now, is this for business or pleasure? Well, it's really pleasure, but uh, I always go on busman holidays, so there'll be some work involved. Well, that's why I kind of have you here today, because I can't even get away from your work. You are super famous, and I know that you reach out on social media outlets, so that's what I'm kind of doing here today. I promised my viewers and my network that I would ask you a few questions if they ever had them, and I thank you for on such short notice joining me. Do you mind if I ask you some of the questions that my social media people are asking? No, go right ahead, but before you call me famous, I'd prefer to be called infamous. Infamous, the infamous Mickey Fulp. Okay, coming in for the infamous Mickey Fulp, we have Sean Tufford. He wants to know, um, how do you feel about gold, or sorry, how do you feel about paper gold and ETFs right now? Well, I'm a physical gold guy, so the whole uh, market for gold's bifurcated between a physical ETF market, which is what's taken the price of gold down, and then on the other hand, you have people like me that... Uh, that hoard gold and we're buying physical gold. So the, increasingly we see this bifurcated or bipolar market. You hoard gold? Do you keep it underneath your bed? I'm not going to tell you where <laughs> I keep it. Just uh, rest assured that I have at least 10% of my net wealth in physical gold in my physical possession. And uh, if I told you where it was, then I'd probably have to kill you or something. I don't know. Well, I know you have tricks up your sleeve. Okay, so I'm going to head over to Twitter now, and I'm going to learn something here. I have, at Tara Sweeter, ask Mercenary Geo if he's excited about the Liberty Mastermind Symposium. What is that? Oh, uh, this is an invited speaking event uh, in Dallas at the, uh, at the end of June, and it's a bunch of libertarians and, and anarcho-capitalists and hard money guys, and we're going to get together and present a symposium. I got a few of my more radical ideas I'll present at that. Okay, I don't even know what a symposium is. Uh, well, it's just a bunch of guys going to get together and, and people are going to come in that are interested in this kind of alternative view of what's going on with the United States and, and how to prepare for uh, economic collapse if it happens. Oh, it's such a doom and gloom <laughs> situation right now. I mean, is there anything positive going to come out of something like that? Or do you guys just talk about all the crap that's going on? Well, I'm certainly, uh, 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 there's going to be a lot about all the crap that's going on. But I'm an eternal optimist. So Are you? Okay, I was going to ask yeah. you, are you optimistic? Absolutely. So I don't think the U.S. is going to collapse. But I'm a Boy Scout, so I'm prepared for those sorts of things. I'm, I'm just going to give people an, a few ideas about how to prepare. So going back to your road trip, I don't want to keep you for too much longer, Mickey. Um, what's your next city that you're stopping into? Well, we're going to buy my newly bought classic 1993 Lincoln Town Car, and we're driving it to Portland, and we're going to meet with uh, some people there, some high net worth investors. But more importantly, I get to drink a bunch of wine with my buddies in the Willamette Valley. Well, Mickey, it was such a pleasure to have you. Thanks for being here and safe travels. Uh, we'll see you soon and look forward to it, Tara.